um, electric hypersensitivity. Um, this is Ollie's message. He's dedicated his whole life, by the way, to electro hypersensitivity. He is, for the last 30 years, only worried about the impact and the uh, quality of life of the human exposed to these emissions. He's done a wonderful job. In Europe, by the way, you can get sick leave because you're hyper electro hypersensitive. Uh, you can't in the US. They don't even recognize it necessarily. But uh, Ali has been uh, leading um, uh, uh, the, this, this space, and if you're electric hypersensitive, electromagnetic hypersensitive, you're also um, multiply chemically sensitive. So if you smell gas and you get bothered by it, that's not unusual. Yeah, we have time. Okay, hypersensitivity. I'm not going to go through this detail. But these are all the kinds of symptoms, fatigue, um, um, numbness. Um, you know, funny about that. There, there was a, a guy came to us, and, and they of, often asked me, uh, if I have a cell phone, my hand's getting numb, is, is it a problem or not? And, and, and I often point out that no one's died of cancer from electromagnetic radiation, even though you feel it in your hand. The, the hand is really pretty resilient. It, it doesn't have the soft tissue. It's when it goes towards the tissue, the womb, the heart, the head, those kinds of things are more susceptible than other parts of our body. So it bothers the crap out of you, but you're probably all right. Um, this is sort of an important message. Um, we have LEDs in our uh, technology, all of these technologies we use around us. And the, if you, you see the, the call out of the blue light versus the VU, v, uh, UV light, believe it or not, that's where it goes from non-ionized radiation to ionized radiation. So we talked about the, the uh, Electron being knocked out of its orbit, that, that begins at the uh, UV level. So bl blue light is right next to it. But boy, it's close, really, really close. And because of that, you've got to start worrying about it. Because particularly if you become, your body becomes more sensitive, um, you're more responsive negatively to the exposures. So. There's a lot of good reasons you use these LEDs because the cost, the savings, the energy. But you have strain in your eyes. You have premature macular degeneration. You have dry eye. You have fatigue. And I, I remember I was talking to a, a physician, um, a, uh, a pretty, pretty well-known guy, and he was telling me about his teammate that was working on a screen all day, and that he's been giving her drops in her eye because she had dry eye. And I said, well, what's the source? And he said, well, I don't know. I said, so what did she do? And he was telling me that her role in, in front of a screen all day. And it, it bothered me that he didn't know this, but I said, look, I'm going to send you blue light blocking glasses. I'm going to send you something that blocks that signal from getting to the eye. I did, and she had it on for two hours. Dry eye cleared up completely. Completely. For 10 years, she had blood eye, uh, her eyes were bloodshot. So here we are. I'm, I'm talking to a physician that really I had great respect for, and it was like going to a doctor saying, my head hurts. He gave her two aspirin. He never understood what her head was hurting about. And, and blue light is becoming important, not only because of its destructive nature, potentially, but there's also something else you need to worry about. And that is, that's the trigger for you to sleep that's being disrupted. Blue light is hitting the back of the eye, and there's a protein, cryptochrome protein, that is the on and off switch to go to bed. 
it turns on the melatonin. So when you're looking at it, uh, I mean, tablet, and you decide to go to bed immediately, there's no melatonin. Not triggered in to work because the switch wasn't turned on. So it really does disrupt. But is that all it does? No. Because now all of a sudden, you need to be in a circadian rhythm. You, you recover at night. All of that now being screwed up. Why? Because you looked at a screen before going to bed. So it's, it's really a technology that we have that's really wonderful to have. But it also, we know for sure through research, impacts our bodies. And we have to be aware of what it does. So don't look at monitors before you go to bed. So make sure you use shield protection that prevents those signals from getting to the cryptochromes.